Trim the composition by using B and N on your keyboard. Then go to File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. In Media Encoder, choose the preset settings and do what I do. Change the format to H.264 and set the preset to Match Source High Bitrate. If you're exporting a long YouTube video, adjust the resolution to 1440p or higher. Ignore this part for Instagram and TikTok uploads. Software encoding will give you the best quality, but hardware encoding will give you the fastest render. Choose the option that best fits your needs. Make sure the estimated file size stays below 30 megabytes by adjusting the target bitrate. Check this box and then hit OK. If you have GPU acceleration available, enable it. Finally, choose your output location and click the green button to render. These settings will help you keep the file size low while maintaining good quality, so Instagram and TikTok don't compress your video too much. While render settings are important, achieving high quality renders involves more than just that. Some approaches are using high quality footage, effective sharpening, color correction, AI upscaling, and avoiding excessive bloom and blur. By using a combination of some of these techniques, you can get good results in terms of render and video quality, depending on the type of video you are working with. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you enjoy this type of video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.